uh, James Akers here, the tie guy. Uh, today we're going to be pairing a uh, Gucci tie with a Xenia suit and a Brooks Brothers shirt. Um, this is a Gucci tie. I actually picked this up about a month or so ago, but I haven't worn it yet, so it's brand new, never been worn. Uh, shout out to uh, Jante, my uh, guy down at the Gucci store in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, he takes great care of me. If you need anything from Gucci, I can hook you up with him. Uh, wonderful guy to work with, great customer service. Um, anyway, this uh, Gucci tie, it's got um, kind of a honeycomb pattern. It's a brown and a gold. I would call it like a brownish gold. Um, has a honeycomb pattern and it has the Gucci bees all over it. Um, you know, and then of course uh, I, I, I kind of leave this tag on here just you know because it's all hidden. But um, uh, Gucci uses honeybees and snakes in a lot of their stuff. Uh, the king snake and the honeybee have kind of become their go-to. The honeybee definitely has been been there for a long time, and so this just brings that out. So it's it's a very classic looking tie from a distance. You know, it's very classy looking. Then you get a little bit closer, almost like a Ferragamo, where all of a sudden you see, oh, there's something cool in there. So uh, anyway, as far as a review goes. It's, uh, it's not a real wide tie. You know, I typically go with a more traditional size. Gucci's ties tend to be a little bit on the slim side. Um, it is uh, not super thick, but it's also not really, really thin, so it's kind of in, be in between. It does have a nice feel to it. Uh, it's not a super soft silk, but it should tie a nice knot. Uh, the other Gucci ties I have always tie nice knots. So um, let's tie that up and uh, see what it looks like, see what we can come up with here. Um, button up the shirt, put the collar up. All right, the collar stays and everything in. Now, with this being kind of a medium thickness as far as the silk goes, I'm probably and not being a super thin uh, uh, thin tie as far as width goes. I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to be somewhere around here in uh, in length. We're going to find out here. I may have to tie it twice. We'll see. Bring it in. So we go with the long part over top, down under, up and through. Then we take the tie around behind. Then we go up and over and through again. Now we take this, uh, we, this is what I call the checkpoint. We're going to look to make sure we got a little triangle going here, which we do. And I, I always adjust here to make sure everything's coming together real nice. Then we take the long part out over top, keeping everything flat, back behind, and through. And then we'll tuck it through this little pocket we've just created. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie through. Now we adjust the knot. You know, we, we turn everything down just a little bit, hold on to the knot, pull on the, the, the longer part of the tie. And then the shorter part of the tie to bring the knot up. And we need to see about our length. I think I've got this too short. We're going to find out here in just a second. Let me get the knot nice and tight. And I'm going to back away and you'll see. So if you notice, the tie is short. It comes above my belt buckle. The perfect tie should always come somewhere between the top of the belt buckle, bottom of the belt buckle, possibly overhanging below maybe a quarter of an inch. But this is just too short. And if you know anything about me, I'm a perfectionist. I like my ties to be perfect. So now I know this tie has to be a little bit more. I need a little bit more length here. So I'm going to go all the way down to here. And I'm going to tie a little bit quicker this time around. And see if we can get it right this time. I like a perfectly tied tie. Um, to me, getting uh, you know putting a tie on is a privilege. I want to look like a gentleman. I want my tie to be classy. I want to dress nice. That's how I look at it. I don't view ties as just um, something I have to wear for work, even though I do wear them for work. Uh, to me, a tie, it's a privilege to get a dress up, it's, it's you know, to be able to look nice. And of course, this one I tied too long. Look at this. This is the first time ever on one of my videos I've had a tie tie three times. So now we got it too long. Now, uh, if you notice, it's, it comes below the belt buckle. I like my ties right in between there. So all in real time, guys, this is unedited. Um, I am tying a tie for a third time now. Now we're going to go kind of in between there. Um, three times. Third time's a charm. It's hilarious on the tie. But this just goes to prove to you guys that uh, every brand of tie, every style of tie, uh, it's always going to be a little bit different as far as the lengths. And so it's about figuring it out. You also notice, I'm going to retie until I get it right. I want my ties to be perfect. If you don't have that passion about them, you know, I hope that you can catch that passion because I like everything to be looking just right. Now, I've got it perfect. Now it comes down about halfway down the belt buckle. That's where I want this tie to go. Let's put the collar down and see what this looks like. You guys, take the time to do it right. That's the point. Take the time to do it right. If you don't tie it perfect, tie it again. It only takes a minute, okay? All right. We want gentleman's dress, right? Look how nice that comes together. Really nice, tight knot. The Gucci ties do tie a really nice, tight knot. Uh, they're not super long, so I don't have a lot of slack here by tying a double Windsor, but I'm going to tuck that through the strap what I can. Let's put the jacket on see what this looks like. And then we'll go over the look. The look should be scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we've got, um, let me get my shirt out here. I do have cufflinks on today, so I like the shirt to come out a little bit when I'm wearing cufflinks. 
All right, we have a brown Zinnia suit, a Myrna Gildo Zinnia. We have a purple Brooks Brothers tie. We have a, a brown and gold honeycomb pattern Gucci tie with bumblebees. Uh, today we're wearing uh, Salvatore Ferragamo cufflinks that match the Salvatore Ferragamo belt buckle that we're wearing. I'm going to pair this today actually with a two-tone watch. Um, I have a pretty big watch collection. I try to pair everything up. Uh, I'm actually going Gucci with the watch today, I guess, because I'm wearing a Gucci tie. But since I'm wearing a gold belt buckle, I'm going to pair this with a two-tone uh, Gucci watch. Um, that'll look really good. I'll pull that out in just a second. And we're going to pair this. Normally, I wear brown shoes with a brown suit, but I decided today to go a little bit different. So I'm going black belt, and I'm going to wear my, um, my black uh, Christian Louboutin uh, shoes. Because these are just really going to look cool when I'm walking. You know, people can kind of see the bottom of that. These are just a beautiful Oxford. There will be pictures on my Instagram. I've got some close-ups of the shoes with the belt, close-ups of the tie. So check out my Instagram. It's tie guy James Akers. Uh, Akers is A-K-E-R-S. But now I am ready for work.